What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to ask the question, is God of War leaving the Norse mythology too quickly? Uh, and this actually is a couple different parts, not just leaving the Norse mythology, but are they leaving Kratos? Could they potentially be leaving the series too early? It's a lot of different things I do want to discuss, and this really comes from, obviously, that first trailer, and the trailer is incredible, I really, I think I like it more over time, just kind of keep watching it. It's a great trailer, and the info we got afterwards was pretty cool cool as well however this is the finale of the norse you know saga even though it's only two games long um so a couple of things number one i remember that day right when the trailer comes out and all this information is kind of coming whether it be the playstation blog or just all these other places that was coming from also that day and i remember looking and i was like well does anybody and to my knowledge nobody said this you guys will have to let me know if you saw something i didn't did anybody say if this was still going to be a trilogy now i fully 100 and i don't even go higher than 100 percent, 150 percent believe there will be a third game where you will play as atreus uh grown up even further than he is right now in a lot of ways this game is doing a lot of what the last of us did but just slightly tweaking it i really do believe that so you know i'm not saying there's not gonna be a third game i'm not even saying i believe that there won't be i 100 percent whether they say it or not or you know when the game comes out and they say well we really don't know you know what we're gonna do do from here or where we're gonna go that part of that may be true because it's like well now you have to pick a new mythology but i think the idea of making a third game and who would be a playable character the entire time i really don't think there's any room uh even i would even argue for discussion and i love discussions it's what's the what the channel is all about so again is that too quick i would say on a couple different levels yes now you could argue kratos has been around forever so i mean going on along the angle of like is it too early to kill him off you know, you could make the argument, well, it's like, no, you could kind of do that whenever. Now, I, you know, I love Kratos to death. I love what they did with him. I actually really liked him in 3, even though he yelled way too much, which is the kind of the, the thing everybody says about him. But I, I really like that character. I love him, actually, I would say, to death. So, you know, the day we don't have a God of War game with Kratos as the star is a very, it's it's a bittersweet kind of day. It's kind of, it's, I would even say it's like a Nathan Drake. But this is more, I would even argue, maybe it's not more powerful to me, just because I like Uncharted and Nate more, but this is like a longer thing. We've seen Kratos forever. So I do think, I would say for me, number one, yes, they are leaving the mythology way too early. Now, I'm no... Uh, I don't know. I'm no studier of any of this stuff. I know. I just watched like the IGN thing where they had the uh, like the Norse mythologists like talk about all this stuff. That was actually kind of cool. You know, I I don't know the lore anywhere near as close to that or really uh, well at all. You know, what I mean, I'd give myself probably like a, a D plus in terms of my knowledge. With that being said, though, I don't think it's unfair to just simply ask for you know, expand. You know what I mean? They they did a lot with with the Greek gods uh, before. They, they You could say milked. I wouldn't say that. But, you know, they did quite a few games and explored, you could argue, as much as they possibly could have of that mythology. I really don't think they are exploring nearly as much as they could in this one. I will honestly say it's almost as if, and I keep going back to Kratos, but you know, obviously, if you guys beat the first game, we know, like, where this is going. Like, he's going to die. There's going to be a point where he dies. And, I don't know, when I played the first game, I thought that, like, the second game would maybe get us closer to that. And then the third game, you would kill him off, and then we would pass the, the torch to Atreus, like, kind of naturally in that game. But it seems to me like they're kind, and, and that's just to me, you know, maybe some people thought, okay, well, second game, you kill him off, and then ba basically what they're doing, you kill him off, and then you go forward with Atreus in a third game. You know, I don't necessarily mind that. I still do think it's a little early to just kill Kratos off in this trilogy, in this new kind of arc of his life, new voice actor, right? New personality, new look to him, like all that stuff. I think it's a little too early. But also, like, I don't know. I don't know why you would leave this world that you've created after only two games and i guess again that's all depending on if we would actually get a third game which again i i personally think we will but it's not you know for sure but it's almost like what's the rush you know what i mean and that's that's just my opinion what's the rush of leaving this this universe so quickly we haven't really explored everything they're gonna i feel like do a lot quite a bit uh in this game and then afterwards you you leave it and you go to the next one now again it's it does seem pretty straightforward where it's like 
you would you would almost do what you did with Kratos in in God of War 2018 with Atreus, and you you just be doing that over again, right? Because if, if Atreus had, well, I guess besides the fact that Kratos did have Atreus, right? But you would have him start out the third game in a new mythology, new gods, and all that stuff, but being almost a relic from like a past life, a past mythos. And there is something kind of cool to that, but that's just kind of what I see happening. So so I don't know. I, I really, you know, again, without knowing too much about the mythology, you could say like, well, who are you to say, Alex, that you want to see more of it when you don't even know, you know, what they could show, what you're missing out on. And that's true. I mean, I, I, I actually do understand that. You know what I mean? I do think that's a good argument against me. Uh, but again, I don't think there's necessarily on the other side, of things. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with saying, well, I just feel there's just something in me where it's like, I feel like you probably could do more than just two games. And then, uh, and then, you know, you can move on maybe after a third or so game. Right. But again, these are all just my opinions. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think it's too early to be leaving Kratos? Potentially. We don't technically know. Do you think it's too early to be leaving the Norse mythology? Let me know in the comments. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. I will be for sure covering God of War Ragnarok a ton over the next you know year or so plus you know until we get the game cannot wait so there'll be loads of videos on it uh, over time if you guys want to follow me on Twitter or subscribe to my second channel or support us on Patreon or YouTube memberships links for all of them are in the description below thank you for watching and I hope to see you all on the next video